Good morning everyone. How are you? Today I am going to discuss with you parts of speech and this is your third chapter. So students, there are eight main parts of speech. Almost all words in English have been classified into the eight part of speech. And the name of these parts of speech are noun, verb, adjective, adverb, pronoun, prepositions, conjunction and interjection. Now first noun. A noun is a word that names a person, place, object, animal, idea or feeling. Again, a noun is a word that names a person, place, object, animal, idea or feeling. When in doubt, when in doubts, while identify the noun, ask the question. See, anger is hard to control. I love to eat pizza. So, when in again, I am saying, when in doubt, while identify the noun, ask the question. Can I have or touch or feel it? Can I have? or touch or feel it so when you put this question then what your answer will be that will be now next a verb is a word which expresses an action or a state of being or having that is verb for example when in doubt, while identify the verb, ask the question, can I do it? For example, he skipped all the way home. Second example, he sings well. And when you will put the question, can I do it? And the answer will be verb. Next, adjective. An adjective is a word which qualifies, quantifies or modifies a noun. Again, an adjective is a word which qualifies, quantifies or modifies a noun. 4. See the example. A city has tall <coughs> Sorry, a city has tall buildings. She is a stylish dresser. She is a stylish dresser. So, the students, when in doubt, while identify the adjective, ask the question, what kind of person, place, thing it is? Again, when in doubt, while identify the adjective, ask the question. And the question is, what kind of person, place, thing it is? An adverb, next is adverb. An adverb modifies the meaning of a verb, adjective or another adverb. Again, an adverb modifies the meaning of a verb, adjective or another adverb. See the some adverbs and an adverb modifies the meaning of okay. that's it. When in doubt while identify the adverb ask the question and the question will be how, where, when, how often, how much. Next is pronoun. 
Next is pronoun. Here are some pronouns. Pronoun, the words which is used in place of noun. That are pronouns. Here are some pronouns categorized into three parts. First person, second person and third person. First person singular, I and me. And first person plural, we, us. Second person singular, you. And second person plural, also you. Third person singular, he, she, it, him, her, it. Third person plural, they, them. For example, first person singular, I will go to the church. So here, I is first person pronoun. I will go to the church. Pronoun. He is not feeling well today. So he is he. Third person singular pronoun. Third person singular pronoun. Next is preposition. Next is preposition. A preposition is a word which shows the relation between the noun or pronoun and other words in the sentence. I am repeating again. A preposition is a word which shows the relation between the noun or pronoun and other words in the sentence. For example, the cat is in front of the tree. See in the picture. Look at that picture. The cat is in front of the tree. Next example. Do you look like your mother or your father? Do you look like your mother or your father? Here are some prepositions. Like about, of, in, inside, with, among, until, between, on, under, for, below, from, behind, after, before, over, beside, to, throw, at, around, into, within, till. So these are some prepositions. Next is conjunction. Next is conjunction. A conjunction is a word which joins two related but separate sentences as one long sentence. Again, a conjunction is a word which joins two related but separate sentences as one long sentences. For example, we wanted to go through, sorry, we wanted to go there but it was raining heavily. We wanted to go there but it was raining heavily. Here, but is conjunction. But is conjunction. Next example, I am not sad nor Am I happy? I am not sad nor am I happy. See here are some conjunctions. For, and, or, yet, so, because, since, if, however, unless, though, although, so that, as if, while, whether, Next is interjection. An interjection is a word which expresses sudden feeling or emotion. An interjection is a word which expresses sudden feeling or emotion. For example, Ouch! The kettle is hot. Ouch! The kettle is hot. Wow! That's really great news. Wow, that's really great news. 
some interjections are ya e oops yo boo m yummy hmm so these are some interjections next determina determina they are words which come before a noun or at the beginning of a noun phrase they are words which come before a noun or at the beginning of a noun phrase they tell whether the noun is specific or general again they are words which come before a noun or at the beginning of a noun phrase they tell whether the noun is specific or general c determiners here we will categorize determiners into four part article demonstrative adjective possessive adjective adjective of quantity so, stu so students rest are the part i will discuss in the next section till you will learn these rules and note down in your notebook thank you and have a nice day